In this video I'm going to show you how to perform the cross straight leg raise test to confirm a disc protrusion causing lumbar radicular symptom. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. While the straight leg raise test has a high sensitivity and a low specificity, it is great to exclude lumbar radicular symptom. The cross straight leg raise test has been found to have a pool sensitivity of 28% and a high pool specificity of 90%, according to a review done by Van der Wind et al. in the year 2010. It can therefore ideally be used to confirm the hypothesis of intervertebral disc protrusion with lumbar radicular symptom, with a positive likelihood ratio of 2.8. To perform the test, have your patient in supine lying position. Then, Flex your patient's uninvolved leg at the hip up until about 60 to 70 degrees. This test is positive if your patient experiences shooting pain in the extended leg along the axonal contribution of the leg. Like with the normal SLR, flexing the uninvolved leg will pull the dura into caudal direction and stress the nerve roots of L4 to S2. This can cause indirect compression of the uninvolved side especially in large axillary protrusions. Alright, this was our video on the cross straight leg raise test. If you want to assess for a higher disc hernia causing radicular symptom between the level L2 and L4, you should do the prone knee bending, also called reverse lasagne test. You can do that by a click on the video right next to me. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or comment down below. And at last, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check us out on various social media. This was Kai. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.